Hello. So today I'm going to show you exactly how to do the exact hack that I use to find new article ideas as well as keywords to target based on competitors' websites. Um, so in this example, let's say that you're in the green travel or uh, sustainable travel niche, okay? Um, let's just do a quick search on green travel blog. Or even, let's do, so there's a handful of different blogs. Um, this looks interesting. Green global travel, okay? Ecotourism, sustainability, conserving the environment, but also traveling the world, okay? This is a good blog to look at if you're in that niche. Um, the, the tool that I use is Key Search. Um, this is a great tool to use if you're a beginner blogger ha or have uh, a limited expense budget for searching for additional keywords. Uh, Ahrefs is another option um, that's substantially more expensive than Key Search. Key Search is only $17 a month. Uh, you sort of get what you pay for. It's no frills, uh, ability to search different websites. Uh, but the one reason why I like this site uh, much more than than the others relative to cost is that um, you can do bulk keyword research for you know any domain or you know a handful of any keywords that you well, that you shall please um, so in this instance i'm in the explorer tab of key search um, and i've input the specific domain that i'm looking at as well as the um, which shows the you know, a bit backlinks dashboard, domain strength, score to target. If this is your, you know, if this was your website, you'd want to search for keywords that are 42 and below. Um, this appears to be a pretty reputable site that has, you know, some pretty good traffic, 67,000 uh, monthly uh, uh, clicks to the site from Google and the respective keywords. Um, so, you know, it is reputable if you're starting out, there's a, potentially a lot of different keywords that you might not be able to rank for, that they're ranking for, um, starting off the bat. But they also rank for a lot of different things, right? So, you know, if you if you can do a bulk keyword search on 50 different, different keywords, um, I'd bet that there would be a dozen, right, that would... Um, that would be low competition or at least spur your idea and the idea generation of potential topics to write for that would rank in Google, right? Uh, so our goal is to increase traffic, increase leads to our particular niche. Um, Key Search does a great job of being able to do this just in a no frills, uh, affordable, easy way. Um, so what I'll do is I'll take a look at all the different organic keywords and uh, they have a lot, so it'll, it'll, it will take a second to load. Um, so here's just a dashboard, tons and tons of pages of different keywords. Um, what I like to do is export and export to CSV. Give a second while that downloads. As you can see, they have a ton of different keywords that are low search volume, maybe some that are pretty high search volume. If we were to guess, the low search volume type keywords are ones that we could potentially rank for if, even if you're starting out site. If you're in a, you know, starting out site, the chance that you're going to rank for a 110,000 volume uh, search term uh, is, is likely, likely you know, very, very low. Um, so let's open this up. Now we have a dashboard of the URL, the respective keyword, the position, and volume. Here's an estimation of the traffic. Usually, if you're ranking first, that equates to, for that particular search volume, about 30% of the actual volume for that term. 
what I like to do is concatenate the particular keyword to then include a comma. What that does then is separates each term when we do a copy and paste into key search. What I'll do is I'll just do a double click there and now we have a full you know, 3,000 different keywords all the way down to the bottom. If you do want an extra tip, um, what you can do is say, okay, I only want to target position one keywords sorted by the highest volume. That's if you're an experienced website looking for high volume keywords and high volume keyword ideas. In this instance, let's start basic just on a keyword data dump directly into key search. You can do 50 at a time. So what I'll do is then go to keyword research, quick difficulty. And now that I've concatenated all of these different keywords, I can go in, paste these 50 keywords to be searched. And there you go, automatically populates the respective score for these keywords. So now I can go through the list and start. Now this gets my you know wheels turning on all the different uh, article topics that we can write about uh, that have actual real volume that um, can either you know generate leads, you can uh, generate affiliate uh, link revenue, even just display revenue um, that you can target. So. One that starts out uh, is one week in Ireland by car, one week in Ireland what to do. A score of anything below 35 is you know, what I would characterize as low hanging fruit, uh, very easy keywords to rank for. But you know this, I would caveat, this is the uh, travel niche. Travel is a lot different than something that is a global topic this is a topic that's specific to particular regions and people specializing in, in those regions, right? So this particular keyword has, you know, an Irish store ranking for an itinerary. Um, if you were to look Irish road trip, right? Um, a handful of different other large global sites like Froders and or folders and frommers. Um, so it is a bit of a judgment call um, as you look into the keywords as you go. Um, but now you have, and you can go down the list, right? Animals from the Gal Galapagos Islands is one um, that's not in the title of any of these keywords. So at least now you have an example of your competition and what they're ranking for, what they're targeting and the ability for you to make better decisions about your blog on how you should target keywords and maybe even things that you should generate that are similar to those topics. So maybe it's not just one week in Ireland, maybe it's a one week Ireland tour. Um, the best part about key search is they'll give you these good suggestions that are actually brought to you by the search engines, search engines themselves. So maybe you want to hone directly into Northern Ireland. So you can just click this and now you'll get a score. Maybe it doesn't have any volume because it's just so niche down, but at least gives you a chance to rank for something um, that might be lower volume, but lower hanging fruit. Um, uh, you could do, you know, then it from there, your, your idea generation uh, progresses exponentially because of, you know, now you're on Northern Ireland, you could talk about Belfast, you can find out things about tours, seven day itinerary, 10 day itinerary. Um, and, and from there, the options are really endless. Um, so that's just a quick hack on how you can scale your site uh, significantly by just looking at what your competitors are doing, or even a authority in your particular niche is doing uh, to make better decisions about your blog 
and make better decisions about uh, the article topics that you want to write that are relevant for your niche. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you liked our video, leave us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell to get informed of our new videos. Also, in the comments, I included a free audience builder course to help you build and grow your email list.